So hey guys, man, have I got something cool getting ready to happen today. And I know you guys have seen videos with my tilt trailer in the past, but today I'm going to be putting the biggest load I have ever put on this. Uh, it's a new device that I'm going to be carrying and big announcement. I'll eventually be having one. Well, actually this one I'm getting ready to carry today will eventually be mine. So uh, we're actually going to be using it this weekend. Uh, but again, this is the first time I've ever loaded this. Want to know what I'm talking about? Just hang on. Check out this video. It's going to get good, guys. Well, hey, guys. I know this is not near a big machine in the scheme of things, but it's huge for me. So this is what we're going to be getting. It's a John Deere 35G. has an articulating blade and a working thumb. And uh, we'll be headed to our house shortly. Guys, that was fun. <laughs> First time I ever put one of these on the trailer. Anyway, we'll lock her down now. So guys, I'm learning a lot of things quick and I wanna share this with you. Obviously, I'm upgrading to pulling uh, and carrying a whole lot more weight. This weighs close to 9,000 pounds. It's actually a little over 9,000 pounds. And so when you go to something like this, you have got to upgrade from straps. You've got to go to chains. You've got to go to ratchet locks. And one big thing is you need to do the numbers and check and make sure the hitch that you're running is heavy enough. In my case, it was not. I needed to upgrade uh, to, this is all solid steel. The other one I had was hollow. Uh, was only rated to carry like 500 pounds of tongue weight. And that's just not enough when you're talking about this much. Another thing that I've learned is they've changed the laws. Um, now they are wanting you to do six points of lockdown. So that means a on each corner of the machine which is four and then they also want you to strap over the bucket and have two more points of lockdown for six points so uh, one thing I would highly recommend is number one we obviously want to be safe uh, but we also want to be legal so if you're wanting to do stuff like this find somebody that does this every day and go just ask them questions. I'm very fortunate. My neighbor Dean, uh, who is uh, I'm working with this on, uh, he's so knowledgeable in this and he's so glad to share all this information. And uh, so, I'm, again, I'm just asking him lots of questions and he's more than willing to share. All right, guys, we are all locked down and nice and tight. Everything's good to go. And so let's get on the road. Well, guys, we made it home just fine. This thing pulls outstanding, which is a true testament to SureTrack. I've said this a bunch of times. This is one of the best pulling trailers I've ever had. It handled the weight no problem at all. And it was absolutely a piece of cake to come home. So we'll be heading out tomorrow and uh, in the morning and we will be putting this dude to work so as you know uh, guys with project next one there's always going to be one more and we'll be heading out in the morning to do a cool video with using the excavator and the bucket 24 inch bucket with a thumb uh, also be using the uh, blade as well i love how this thing articulates and so we're going to be working around the old house section not the daycare but that old house and actually start cleaning up around that now so can't wait till that for now, guys, take care. Have a great afternoon. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you later.